What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Martin. And I'm back again with another entertainment news update. This time, I'm talking about three reasons why Shatawali keeps winning. Charlie, we'll go into the story right about now, but you know the drill. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you've been watching my videos and you've not subscribed, I don't know what else you're waiting for. My sister, my brother, please hit the subscribe button. It motivates me to bring you more news, you know, and press on the bell icon so that any video I release, you will be the first person to see it. You know, share this video with someone so that together we can spread the positive word in Ghana. Let's get straight to it. If you want to read authentic news, it is www.ghreloaded.net. Charlie, Makula Papa is the one bringing us this one too. Let's get straight into it. So, three reasons why. Today, you can see... Shatawale's total monthly listenership on um, Spotify is 1.2 million. 1.2 million. And before, it was only 300 and something, like almost 395,000 or something, right? So, with all the things that is happening in Shatawale's life and surrounding him and all that, people will keep asking, why at all does this guy still mean? I mean, when you look at some of the things he's done in the past, when you look at um surrounding controversies that are surrounding him charlie and the guy keeps winning you keep on wondering charlie what at all has this guy eaten what at all has uh, this guy done what is following him now we'll break it down in three uh, different segments and then i will add a few things to it and then we we'll talk about it you also share your opinion with me in the comment section below because we do it together charlie it's more dean let's get to point number one the number one reason why I think Shatawale keeps winning, you know, is the fact that his talent is pure, undiluted. The first thing is his talent. See, if it has got to do with any other thing than his talent, then Charlie, I'm sure a lot of people will, would be fed up with him right about now because of the things that happened to him in the industry. You get it? The 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 talent is pure and that is what keeps connecting him to the international acts and all those things and the way he keeps winning. It's all about talent. You all remember the famous line Beyonce used when she was being interviewed about the project she did with people in Africa, with the artists in Africa. He said, we searched and took our time to curate this and we worked with the best talent. We were looking for the best talent. And that should tell you that Shatawale's talent is neither here uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's not something that we can play with, you know. He is one of the best when it comes to the continent. And a lot of the artists also know this. No wonder Bernard Boy once said that if it comes to uh, his best artist, Shatawale is untouchable. Charlie, he, he, he's known in Jamaica and being put on records just for his talent, you know. Uh, we are also going to talk about his charisma and some of the things that he does. But Charlie, uh, when it comes to the talent, it's pure. And nothing, nothing can dilute the talent Shatawale has. Now, point number two. Point number two. Before I go to point number two, you can see the works he's been doing, the type of songs he's been releasing and all that. Um, if you've paid attention to Shatawale's songs, he doesn't repeat himself. Yet he releases, he works on new songs almost each and every day. And he never repeats himself. You know, he never repeats himself. That is pure talent right there. And he jumps on anything from dancehall to Afrobeat to Afro Jama to whatever you can think of. Even gospel reggae, the guy is doing it. Yes, let's get on to point number two. Point number two is the solid fan base. Now, the difference between Shatawali and the other artist is his fan base. You have a loyal fan base that will go length for you. All the things that happened to Shatawale, his fan base were still with him. They still stuck with him and they grew stronger. You need a solid fan base like this to hold you down whenever you need to work things through. You know, whenever you go down and people are pulling you down and things don't seem right and things don't feel like working out, the best thing you have to do is to look out for your fan base. If you have a strong fan base that can hold you down, that can say that, hey, this guy, we are following him because of his talent. Forget whatever thing that is there. We have an aim. We have a mission. Let us pull through it and get to the top. That is what Shatter Movement stands for. Shatawale's movement, that is exactly what they stand for. And if all artists will get um, fan base solid 
a lawyer at Shatawale's uh, Shatter movement, I'm sure a lot of people are going to go a long way to rule in the music industry because guy, he does some songs and no one even knows if the song is going to blow, but the, 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 the fans will just push and keep marketing. They are like the media for him. When the me media was having loggerheads with Shatawale, it was the fan base that held him down. So if you're an artist coming up, you need a solid fan base, and that is what Shatawale has done so far. So like I was telling you on the Spotify thing, Shatawale used to have 390,000 views, but uh, monthly listeners. Now it has jumped to 1.2 million. That's a hooping uh, rise after the collab with Beyonce and now Maria Lynn and uh, Gappy Ranks also with some things. Now let's get into it. The third point, and then I'll bring in a few things, you know. His hard work. Shatawale works very, very hard. Charlie, let me tell you this honest fact here. No artist in the Ghanaian music industry works harder than Shatawale, hands down. Even if, you, no matter who you support, everyone knows one thing for sure about Shatawale, that his hard work is impeccable. Like, the rate at which the guy works, even though he has the fame, even though he has the biggest fan base in Ghana and arguably Africa, Shatawale stills work hard as if he is starting out. He puts in all his efforts and he tries to always go to the top with his hard work, tries to pull his fan base around, along. And most of the people he asked out of his camp, he simply said they weren't putting in their weight. So he's someone who wants to see you do something. He's someone who wants to see you put an impact and then you will rise together. So Shatawale's hard work, man, is one thing that is getting him right here to the top. Now, other honorable mentions is also his solid connections with some industry folks who will go lens for him. Someone like Bola Ray. You talk of someone like Leslie or Fantasy Dome. You know, these are guys who, like Shatawale, is connected to on the low. And the recent uh, guy, the guy who was in an accident recently with his car when, after visiting Shatawale, I've forgotten them, uh, Dr. Kofi Aban. These are solid guys, man. These are solid guys. Shatawale is ruling Kofi Boat. Kofi Boat. You know, you need to have a few people in your camp where when things get tough, they will be there. And when they know you, they know your true you, they know you respect them and you will be there for them and all that. Charlie, they will also go lengths for you. If it's about money, if it's about pushing you and bringing in connections and all that, one person's connection will change him. And that is what Leslie of Fantasy Dome did. The connection came through him for Beyonce and it landed on Shatawale's laps because of that connection. And why does he keep getting these favors from people of, although people keep saying that he is bad, he's not good for the industry and he's not good for the youth, it is simply because of this other point. Shatawale has a grateful heart. Listen, if you've paid attention to his artistry over the period of time, he is the same person who will insult you, but at the same person, when you do something very good that is laudable, he will come out to say it for the world to know. Shatawale has a really grateful heart. He is thankful for every little thing that happens. His fan base, he keeps thanking them. He's grateful to them. If there is one thing that keeps his fan base glued to him, it is because of his gratefulness and the fact that he considered uh, he considers what they do for him and the way they are promoting him. He is forever grateful to them. And having a grateful heart is a great thing. The last point I would make is an effective marketable brand. See, Shatawali's brand is plain and simple. He sticks to his himself. He says what he feels like saying at any given point in time. And he has a solid brand that buys into his vision, what he believes in. His is to be... Uh, to be himself and speak the undiluted truth, whether it hurts someone or not. And this brand is working for him regardless. Charlie, this is all I would say about Shatawale so far. Let me know about what you think, what I, you think I've left out for the reasons why Shatawale keeps winning. Charlie, subscribe to the channel right about now. Hit the bell icon and do not forget um, to, to share the video with someone. Write a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. www.ghreloaded.net is the best place to go check out entertainment news, updates, and lifestyle news. Also, politics, you can get it there. www.makalapapa.com also says that come and register your business with us and we will promote it for you. Do not forget, guys, if you live in Germany, Brussels, um, somewhere, Amsterdam, and all that, Medical, the Omwada Hitmaker, will be coming to town with DJ Soa. Let's get it popping. Charlie, my name is Modine, and you know, I'm out. Brrr.